Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at how we can use Synchro for turnarounds. We'll take a look at how we can incorporate Synchro for each step of the TAR review and how we can use it for field execution and lessons learned as well. One of the first steps in turnarounds is to build a preliminary schedule with cost estimates. So as scope is being submitted, we can simply select the equipment in the 3D model and start building our preliminary schedule. Once we have our placeholder task created, we can give an estimate on duration, man hours, and cost, or add any other columns required for the prelim. Once all our scope is in and we have our prelim schedule complete, we can easily create layouts using some basic filtering to visually identify our scope that has been submitted for area one. So as you can see here, all the scope that has been submitted is in red and easy to identify. This is a great visual aid in meetings to ensure that the entire TA team is on the same page and makes it very easy to see if any scope has been missed or shouldn't be there. Now that our prelim scope development and estimates are done, we can now concentrate on the detailed planning of our work. As you can see, we've taken the piping replacement job and stepped it out and assigned the according 3D elements to the tasks. You'll notice that we have appearance profiles here to visually identify when the piping is being isolated, removed, installed, and welded. So if we scroll through the timeline here, we can see the isolation points for each pipe. Having the 3D model for isolations makes it easy to identify the correct isolations and add it to our plan. As we run through our timeline, you will see we have added cranes to visually represent their location while executing the work. This can help us optimize equipment usage, but more importantly, it can help us point out any potential safety issues with sequencing, ensuring that there isn't any corresponding work happening under the lifts at the same time. We can visually see the piping is being removed and new piping being installed, and red identifies the duration of the welding. As you'll notice, we were able to bring the crane from the completed piping on the left and help complete the piping on the right optimizing the most out of the equipment, ensuring they are safely positioned to complete the job. From here, we can create work packages with all the information from the 4D plan we just created from the model. Now we can view this work pack and control in the field app, allowing us to easily keep track of constraints. Everyone from this turnaround team will have access to this work package and can add any required information or leave comments. Anyone that has been involved in a turnaround knows that scope doesn't stop when the base scope has been finalized. Addendums usually start piling in right after. We can use Synchro to make the addendum process quicker and more efficient. In Control, we can create custom digital forms to match our existing paper forms. As you can see here, we have a digital addendum form with a custom workflow. Now, anyone can create and submit an addendum form from the office or the field. We are able to tag the model or a geographical map location with a PDF layer and add pictures and supporting drawings and documentation. We can also mark up drawings and the model to ensure people approving and planning this work have all the information required. As I mentioned earlier, we can create custom workflows. As you can see here, once the requester has filled out and attached all the required information, they will send it to the ops manager for approval. From there, it will get sent to the planner for an estimate, then to the event manager for sign-off. Notifying team members each step of the workflow. No more paper forms getting lost or waiting to be passed to the next person in the workflow. Within Synchro, we can use resource statusing to help us visually track and progress our turnaround project. Pre-execution, we can track materials with simple color coding, making it easy to know what has been ordered, delivered, or won't make it on time. Now, when that critical path valve is going to be late, everyone in the room can visually see the valve location and can help figure out an alternative plan. Once execution starts, we all know the importance of prompt, accurate communication from the office to the field and vice versa. This can also be done with the direct connection between 40 Pro, Control, and Field. Control allows one central location for documentation keeping track of drawing revisions and ensuring everyone is working off the correct version. Same goes for discovery work, 
submissions, RFI, safety observations, and any other forms used in the field. This can all be done from a phone or a tablet at the job site and assigned to the responsible team member to get answers faster. We can also update work packages from the field. We can mark up drawings, taking photos and adding notes to help improve the plan for the next time this work must be done. And we all know how important lessons learned are. We can create a custom form for this to make it easy for individuals in the field or office to submit their lessons learned as they happen. All these forms populate their actions into an interactive dashboard within control. We can also digitize inspections, allowing inspectors to complete inspections from their phone or tablets while adding pictures or photos in real time. No more having to go back to the office to create an inspection report. They can visualize what inspections have been completed using resource statuses. Inspectors can simply select the elements from the model and identify if they have passed or failed. Again, creating a helpful visual aid for meetings and decision making. We can also use resource statuses for progressing our schedule from the field. We can assign percent complete to resource statuses. Then from a tablet or a phone out in the field, Foreman can simply select the task they want to update and it will open up the model. They can then select the 3D element and the according status. This will be communicated back to the schedule in 4D Pro and update the task progress based off the percentage assigned to that resource status. These are just a handful of ways Synchro can help improve your next turnaround.